Hi, and welcome back. Uh, today I was going to um, do a quick review on my Pile PSV 300 power supply that I picked up around a week ago on Amazon. Um, this is a switching power supply versus my other one I did a review on on my Pyramid, which is a linear linear regulated power supply. Now, basically the difference between a linear power supply, a, a linear, which is my pyramid over here, um, they tend to be low noise and ripple, and they're actually pretty heavy, and they use a transformer to step down the voltage to um, to the 12, 12 volt or actually 13.8 volt. And on the other hand here, the switching power supply has high efficiency, um, but kind of the payoff on this, it, or kind of the drawback to this is it tends to have higher frequency noise and um, they tend to cost a little more. But the reason I bought this one is um, I have a couple devices I have that I hook up to it and they draw about 10 amps and this one's rated at 30 amps. So I thought I'd take a chance and pick this up since I uh, bought it on eBay and it was, uh, it was from the warehouse deals, the packaging was damaged. So I think it was normally 79 and I picked it up for $52. But um, so far it's been pretty good. So um, let me show you. Uh, this one actually doesn't really put out much RF noise to my CB, so I'll show you here. So if you look at my RF meter here, when we turn on the power supply, you can see it goes up a little and then it drops back down. Let me turn on one of my devices here and you can see the RF noise, you really don't notice it. So I'm pretty happy with that. My pyramid over here, the regulated power supply, it's rated at 12 amps. So I, I could have picked up another one of those, but um, I needed a minimum of 10 amps, my devices draw. And um, from what I've read, you should go double on the amp rating of the power supply of what you need to make sure you have the, if it um, draws a little more ampage, you have that in reserve so the device runs well. And as I said, I have, I usually only run one CB on the pyramid and it does, this type of power supply puts out a lot of heat. And even though I'm only drawing, I think it's around almost two and a half amps when I'm transmitting, it does build up a little heat. Not not to burn you when you touch it, but it is hot to the touch after it's been on a while. Now the pile switching power supply here, as I said, it provides 30 amps of power. This one puts out no heat whatsoever that I can feel when I feel the case. Um, this is kind of, this is the power supply you would find like on your laptop computers they use the switching power supply and like I said before what I read this is a high highly efficient power type of power supply the only disadvantage really is um, from what I read it's supposed to be um, they tend to put out higher frequency noise but as I showed you on my RF meter I really really don't see any RF noise that I can observe coming out of this even when I hook up a, a couple of my devices that are drawing 10 amps. So I'm very happy with this one. And as I said, I picked it up on the eBay warehouse for $72 and it normally goes for about 79. And from what I could tell, it had never been used before. Uh, the package was just damaged. So there you have it. And I would highly recommend this power supply.